Blessings by Nikki. I am here today with a <laughs> who's been busy? I've been busy with a load of digis that I just um, flooded my Etsy shop with. And I am here to do a flip through and talk through them. And then at the end, we are going to do a little giveaway. Um, and I've got a discount code for everybody as well. So um, I am doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away all of these kits and some kits and stuff and junk uh, to celebrate that we went over 2,500 subscribers on my channel. I'm super stoked about that. Thank you to each and every one of you. And to all of you who are watching this video who are not subscribers, although I really feel like you should be because, you know, that we, let's be friends. We'd be cool like that. 2,500 people can't be wrong, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I put up my Instagram the other day that usually when I start doing digital design, it's kind of by accident and I go into my digital archives and then I just get sucked down the rabbit hole. That's totally what has happened here. Yes, you can tell by the sheer volume of things that I have just put into my shop. I think it's like 20 things or something. Anyway, we're going to do a flip through. So um, at this moment, you could pause and go get a cup of coffee or something, cup of tea, you know, make some popcorn. I don't know, because uh, it's going to take us a minute to get through all of this, but it's going to be fun. And you can see what I've been busy with. Um, this also just... Uh, a couple of shopkeeping things really quick. Uh, I just had injections done in my wrists. And so uh, my hands might not totally cooperate with me right now, but we'll get through it. And um, then also, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, digital designing. So I, I just want to say, and I'm this is all I'm going to say. We are in a crazy world right now. Being creative is one of the things that enables me to take my mind completely off of it. So maybe that's something to you know, attest to the giant massive pile of digis that I have just produced. Um, however, I just want to encourage everybody to, even if you're not feeling your mojo or whatever it is, if you're a creative person, just do something. Start somewhere, turn off everything else, sit down very organically with some scissors and some glue and and just do something. Um, I know for me and for most creatives, that's something that's been seriously helpful and invaluable to me. So um, anyway, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm going to give some of this stuff away because maybe you guys can use it to be creative and I can then help encourage some of that. So enough said about that. Let's talk about some fun digis. So I um, have already in my shop, some sets of stamps. These are one-offs, so these are like a one-page thing, the digi that you can buy. And um, they are sets of stamps, and I've got like butterflies and birds and regular postage stamps and flowers and stuff. I've made a whole bunch more. So this one is timely, since we're, we will be arriving at Valentine's Day soon. This is called Victorian Valentine, and um, it's a set of cute little Victorian hearts and Valentines and stuff. Um, and then as with all of these, some of them have cancellation marks and, you know, kind of imposed on some don't. Um, anyway, these are great for like altered paper clips. They make great little tuck spots in the corners and stuff. Um, they're great for just embellishments. You can add them on top of little scrappy, uh, you know, pockets and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of things you can do with these stamps. So let's look at the other ones. Uh, this is just called Victorian Scraps. So this would go with, I know there are lots and lots of Victorian kits out there. Um, and this would go well with a lot of those. Uh, apparently I have two copies of that. <laughs> oh goodness. See, come on hands, don't fail me this soon. Um, this is called Whimsical Fairies. So these are the Whimsical Fairy stamps. And they've just got different little, you know, kind of fairy tale fairies things on there. And this will go really well with one of the kits that I'm going to show you later. As does this. <laughs> this one is called Vintage Assemblage. Assemblage. 
Um, and it's just, it would go really well with like a, um, you could use this for steampunk. Uh, you could use this with just any sort of like real basic neutral kind of writing journal and stuff. And so this will go well with something that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Then I did a Woodland Nature's stamps. It's got a little bit of everything woodland on here. So some leaves, some mushrooms, wood, deer, moose, rabbit. Um, yeah, so this one's got a little bit of everything. This goes well with a bunch of my kits that I have, um, you know, especially like Wildwood Wonder and stuff. Um, and then we've got completely dedicated mushrooms one. This one I had started a long time ago and um, just never finished for some reason. I don't know why, because I love mushroom <laughs> kits. So um, anyway, here's a full set of mushroom stamps. Then here is by the seaside. So this would go well in your like ocean journals. Um, I have a kit called, uh, well, I have an ocean kit and a seaside, um, like postcards from the seaside. So this would go well with either of those. Then here is one called Garden Walk. And it's just kind of a soft florals garden um, vibe. And this goes well with several of my kits, <laughs> but I know it would go well with a lot of other people's kits as well. All right, so there you go. You got all those sets of stamps now. That's one of the things. Then I got going on, let me find the actual kit here. I got going on this boho theme thing and I made this, this sheet right here. I made this design and cause I was just, excuse me, playing around with a few of the, you know, I don't know. I just, I just got tucked into my digis and I was playing around with them and I made this and, and I fell in love with kind of the rich colors and textures of this and decided it needed a whole kit. So I definitely went down this like boho. So this is called Boho Bliss. This is a full journal set. And then there are a couple of additional ephemera pieces that I'll show you in a minute. But let's take a look through this lady. So there are several pages here of um, there are several pages of like bright, rich, heavily textured boho pages. Some butterflies. There's some birds in here in a little bit. Just really textured and patterned and I kind of grunged it up a bit. I just really dig in it. Love this medallion. There's a bird. So there are several of these kind of real heavily patterned brighter pages. Here's some moths and butterflies and some tassels. And then there are also some pages that leave you some more space for some writing. I love this one. It reminds me of like the mandalas that I used to draw. I also love that, those tassels. God, I have to make sure I'm kind of sliding out of frame here. I have it pulled in, I have my video pulled in as tight as I could like to spare myself just a little bit of room so I could make sure you guys could see, but um, I have to make sure I stay in frame. So I apologize if I get out of frame, I'll have to keep watching my viewfinder. <laughs> um, so you go, that's got a little bit of writing room. <laughs> And this one's kind of faded out, so you could write over the top of that too. There's that medallion I love. And then there are several pages of um, ephemera. Just pardon me as I shake out my hands here. These are just some fussy cuts and a big pocket. Um, a whole bunch of tags. And these are all printed out on like the um, nicer quality bright white printer paper. I would tend to print this kit on like an ivory paper just because I like things, um, I don't know, I just like things on, the, <laughs> on that. But I wanna show you the true bright like color of this kit, um, of any of the kits really. And then there's some labels and some pockets. Those are some just giant tags, obviously. I shouldn't have to say that, you know what those are. Here's an envelope and some little embellishments. And here are a couple of coin pockets and tags to go in them, or journaling cards to go in them. 
So, okay, that's the whole kit, Boho Bliss. And then along with that, I have made, now these are printed on um, cardstock and they are kind of more of an ivory. So you can see the difference between the white and the ivory and as were the stamps. That's just because I'm gonna give these away. I'm gonna give these original prints away. And um, I know that if I got these file folders or like the stamps and stuff, I like them on cardstock. It just makes it a little easier to deal with them They're not as flimsy. So, um, so some of these things I've just printed out this way in order to give you the best quality thing that, so you can use. Um, okay, so these this is a set of file folders. I have lots of file folder, well, not lots, but I have other ones, plaids and burlap and some grungy file folders and stuff um, already in my shop. But this is a new set of file folders because I loved the boho thing so much that I made a supplementary kit called file folders. You get one large, you get two medium file folders, you get four small file folders and you get nine minis and these make all kinds of great uh, little additions to things the minis especially you can put several of them on a page you can tuck them behind little tuck spots and stuff they're they're great I like the file folders <coughs> then I also made up um, a tri-fold. I have other tri-level tag kits in my shop as well, um, but I made one for the boho kit uh, as well. So this is your background. If you haven't seen these or if you want to know, put them together. I have a video where I show how to do that. Um, so I will try to remember to link that down below um, for the tri-level tags. And then it comes, the kit comes with a background page. So it comes with this background page and that's meant to print on the back of this page because that becomes the base of the whole tag. And then um, the rest of these pieces, you could put it on the back if you wanted to, or you could put it, um, or you don't have to, you don't have to put it on the back of it at all. But I like putting it on the back of this one just because this, this shape right here is the base of your tri-level tag. So, um, so that's the base, and then this is the envelope, some of the tags and pockets. This is the rest of the pockets and tags, the belly band and the circles. And then I did print one out on bright white just so you could see there's not a ton of difference between the vibrance of them printed on this and this. So I mean, there's not that much of a difference. This just deepens it, maybe the color just very slightly, but not a ton. Okay, so that those are all called Boho Bliss. They're all in my shop right now. Then this next kit, this is a full kit as well. It's called um, Lori's Woodland Garden. And this was made, I made this kit to, um, I was working with Dee Dee Fargo and Emily from Emma Femmer's Treasures and Amy from Glamping and Glitter, Amy Marie's Glamping and Glitter. And we were making a birthday journal for Lori G, who is a um, huge supporter and just a, a good friend to us. So uh, Lori, hello. And again, happy belated birthday. <laughs> so this was kind of, um, we, we put it together and made a journal for her, but my contribution to that journal was a kit because Lori likes nature and woodland themed things, but also likes fairies and kind of that fantastical thing. So this is a combination of all of those things and it is called Lori's Woodland Garden. And um, I really like how this kit has come out. I hope you do too. So let's flip through the pages of this lady. Here we go with some fairies. There's mushrooms and butterflies and beautiful crowned birds and peacocks wearing roses <laughs> and ferns and scrolly frames. More the dragonfly Dee Dee that was there specifically for you. That's an homage. Dee Dee thinks everything is better with a dragonfly. I love this fox. He's chilling on a mushroom. It's either a really big mushroom or a really little fox. You decide. It's, uh, you know, it's the magical woodland garden. <laughs> Here's some butterfly paper. 
then I made a couple that have some lined areas for writing. You know, with some fairies hanging out on mushrooms. And some more birds wearing crowns in the magical garden. And then there are just two pages of ephemera. Some fussy cuts, some journal cards. You could use those as journaling cards or pockets or tuck spots. Um, so there is that kit. That is Lori's Woodland Garden. Now, inspired by um, this kit. <laughs> this kit is inspired by, I, I realized I had started this one a while ago and then um, I never finished it. And part of what maybe made me go down the rabbit hole was Tracy Fox had a challenge on her um, Facebook group where she was talking about finishing up things that you had had sitting around for a while. And I do, I mean, I have lots of journals that I've got, you know, I've curated signatures for and everything, but I haven't actually put them, finished them or anything. But I kind of took it to the digital place, which I couldn't really put that in the Facebook group in any way, weird way. But um, so I just went in and I've got several kits that I've started but haven't finished. And this was one of them. And this one is kind of really personal to me. My favorite colors are the colors of the sunset. And boy, have we been blessed with some absolutely gorgeous sunsets up here recently. Um, and so the backgrounds to this pa these pages are all very sunsetty and lovely um, but it's called uh, Woman of Faith and this one is really has been inspired by all of these strong beautiful faithful prayer warrior women that I have in my life and around me um, and uh, those women that I mentioned earlier that we were working on the journal with they they, they inspire me too so hi guys <laughs> Thank you. And all of you in my comment section, man, you guys say some beautiful things and send me messages with beautiful things. So this kit is really just inspired by all of the, all of us, all of us beautiful, faithful women. So this would be a great kit to put together a small, you know, little gift journals for some of the wonderful, faithful women in your life. Um, it's studded with Bible verses specifically about, you know, um, just to, to try and build up and edify um, and encourage the wonderful women in your life. So, and like I said, it's it's all done over the beautiful colors of the sunset and fairly simple. I tried to keep it fairly simple um, with just some black, like the just the black doodle kind of stuff around. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Then we've got the fruits of the spirit, says so she's worth far more than rubies. So yeah, I mean, I just love the, the colors of this. You are altogether beautiful, my darling, beautiful in every way. This one's got some feathers in the background. Be still and know that I am God. And then a couple pages here with some lines, writing lines. And then some embellishments and some journal cards slash pockets, tuck spots. There are a couple of large, you could use these as pockets or just, you know, two-sided tuck spots. Belly bands, tuck spots on the side. Um, we've got a coin envelope here, a couple of labels, and then some tags, some long, these are some long skinny tags, some short tags, and then just with some, some of the wonderful character traits that I have observed in all of these wonderful faithful women. So this one is on there. It's called Woman of Faith. It'd be a great one for like a prayer journal or a Bible study journal. Like I said, gifts, gifts for women of faith in your life. And then um, this one, this is another full kit. <laughs> it is called Noted, Noted. And it is um, just like a kind of based on vintage papers, vintage scrappy papers. And um, this one has, where's the other one for that? 
Well, there should be one more page on top. Anyway, that's the, the faded version. So I'm going to show you. That's But that's page one. <laughs> it's probably somewhere in here. So what you get when you buy this kit is you get the the full color version of the page. And then you also get a faded version of the page. This one is, my goal with this was, because I, I thought, you know, this is very much like a writing journal. Um, so this one is faded, the copy of it faded, you could totally write over it. So you could journal over those pages. So my thought was you could put this on front and you know, put pockets and things and put this on back you know, back this page with this page, and then you'd have a writing page as well. Or you can do whatever your crafty creative self wants to do, but you will now have a bright and a faded page for each one. So let's flip through them. There is the bright one, and there is the faded one of that page. Brights, faded. Same thing. Bright, faded. Oh, sorry, gotta shake out my hand again. Oh, my left hand is worse than my right. Hopefully the injections are gonna help make that better. Um, there we go. These will work with so many other kits too. I mean, like, that's such a neutral kind of, you know, kit that you could you could put virtually any other theme on top of this and stick some of these into your vintage journals and stuff and it'd be a good kind of kit to go along with other things. Um, this is an envelope and a tuck spot belly band slash whatever. <laughs> There's a couple coin envelopes and some little words to cut out and stick into clusters and stuff. And then these are journal cards, but they're actually like little scrap, you know, like they're stacks of scraps. So you could either cut out around them or cut out right, you know, fussy cut the edges and have cool little, they lo they'll look like little mini stacks of paper, you know, and you could staple them right to the side of a page or, you know, put them in as um, journaling cards, up to you. These are some like index size journaling cards and some labels and then some more large journaling cards. So that is noted, it's a full journal set. And then along with it, I made some a full sheet of labels. So this is called noted labels and they're just um, some writing paper, vintage writing paper, labels right sorry the camera is actually shading them but those are the noted labels that's a one sheet labels um and then i made a tri level tag to go kind of along with the scrappy vintage labels thing <laughs> so this this is your background page this just got a bunch of like ephemera and stuff um and then i've printed it off on the back of this but they come separate obviously because you can't make a two-sided digital but whatever um so this is your base and then one of your pockets then some more pot uh you know the envelope some more pockets and tags and then your belly band your tags pockets and your circle medallions embellishments all right so now let's get to the good part let's get to the giveaway stuff right so I am um, to celebrate to celebrate my uh, 2,500 subscribers and just to bring some love and joy into the world <laughs> in my little corner of it if I can. Um, I am going to give away all of these. And um, the way we're going to do that is I'm going to I'm going to do it in um, three chunks. So what I'm doing is. I'm gonna do the noted, all the noted stuff. So the tags, or the, the tri-level tag, the labels, and the full kit, that's one giveaway. Then we'll do the Woman of Faith kit, the Lori's kit, 
and all the stamps. That's a second giveaway. And then all the boho stuff and the boho journal kits. That is the third set of giveaway. So we've got three chunks of actual paper that I'm going to mail out to three lucky winners. Um, and then I will also be giving away, so I'll also, so when I draw for these in a week, um, I will also give to, I will draw two additional names and you can pick um, one of the full digital kits out of my shop. So that, that is five winners. And the way to do that, the way to enter is, you must be a public subscriber, so you must be a subscriber to my channel. Please like the video. I can't make you like the video. Like, I can't make that, it's hard to make that an actual stipulation without, <laughs> like, because I can't see. But I'm just asking you, please like the video. And then um, comment with, and this is what I'm asking you to comment with, something specific, not just like, yay, I want you to give me things. So I want, let's spread some love and some joy and some stuff. So I want to hear about like one happy moment that has happened in your last week. It's one, one happy moment. It doesn't have to be huge. It could be something really small. Like I, you know, made my bed for the first time in months and it made me happy. Whatever it is, I want a happy moment. Or one self-care thing that you have been doing that you have found makes, you know, things easier right now maybe shutting off social media or you know just taking deep breaths or whatever it is so either share with me well not with me with all of us <laughs> share with us one happy moment or one self-care thing one happy moment for me was finishing all of these dirt digitals getting them listed to etsy which is the most lamest part of it all it's so fun to create them and then having to make all the listings is lame so one happy moment was when i clicked the publish button and they were all in the shop i knew it was done and i could move on to more creative pursuits again <laughs> that was my happy moment one of my self-care moments like i said was staying creative regardless of what that looks like even though my hands i've been having super problems with my hands um I will still find ways to stay creative because that is a self-care, huge self-care for me. So then the other thing is I am, um, because we're celebrating, hooray, 2,500 subscribers, uh, I've got a discount. So if you're interested in getting some of these kits, um, I am saying that if you go to my shop and enter this code, hooray, 2,500, <laughs> You will get 20% off your order if it's over $5. That counts. I do have, a. I think there are like two or three journals that are still in my shop right now that haven't been sold. So that would come off of those as well. Um, it's for everything shop wide. So 20% off all orders over $5. Um, just put in the code hooray2500. So thank you guys for sticking with me through looking at all of these. Um, I'm really hoping that my hands feel better in a day or two here. And so I've got underneath my filming table here, I've got a whole slew of Tracy Fox stuff uh, that I am working on for next design team uh, project for her. So I'm going to probably do some craft alongs with that um, because I, you know, because I want to hang out with you guys. So um, anyway, thank you for hanging out and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I hope you are all able to get creative and stay peaceful and treasure those small little happy moments. And um, thank you for spending some of your precious time with me this evening. Well, it's evening here, but who knows what time it is where you are. So that leads me to have a wonderful morning afternoon, evening, middle of the night, whatever time it is, on whatever side of this precious globe of ours that you inhabit. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay peaceful, stay calm, and be blessed. God bless you guys. All right, take care. Bye-bye.